Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Before we continue with today's video, please don't forget to share it. Hit the little bell to get notified as soon as I release a new one and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and now enjoy the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to Automobilista 2. We are now actually here in Cascais, Portugal, which is the Estoril track, basically a former Formula 1 track. And we are riding here with the Metal Moro AGR GHE cars and we have done the pole position in the qualification session so we are quite optimistic for the race. It's a seven lap race and let's see what we can do today. Let's head forward to the race right now. You're in pole. Here we go. Get ready. And now we are ready to go racing. Red lights are on. Green, and green, off green. we go. You can see we are going with the track IR system once again. So we are simulating our head movement in the cockpit as one contender could go by on us right at the start. So hopefully we can get the spot back soon here in Estoril. So we are winding in this right, uh, sorry, left hand. Down the back straight away. Very long left hand corner that uh, opens up at the exit. Okay, Rafa, don't let this guy distract you. crucial sector here, this very tight left-right chicane. Coming up the last corner of the first lap and still we are chasing the leader here in Estoril. So we're going down the main straight away over the line for lap number one done and that's the Vieras really holding us up, especially through those oh, right. tight bends here. Still there. You're right. So coming up through this right hand kink, down the back straight away, breaking down second gear, and still we are pushing hard on the leader. But we have to watch out for the followers as well. As we are climbing up the mountain, literally here. Left and right again. Last corner of lap number two. And we are really into the toe of Vieira. Slashing down the main straight away, coming over the line into the slipstream. Can we go through on him? Yes, uh, going a little bit wide at the exit there. But finally, uh, we have to slow down. Car right, clear right. We had to slow down massively, otherwise, ah, and now we have been punted from behind and I wanted to say that we had to go down with the speed massively in order to avoid a potential race penalty by the race control. Break. 
it's pretty hot now. So we have to cool down our nerves again here. Try to concentrate us on the recovering. seemingly can pull away from the followers so let us concentrate on the chasing here coming up the line again left three is done and dusted six off the pace sector two is not one four off the pace sector three times quick rolling is leading the race so we're coming back to the play again here Let's watch out not to oversteer at the exit. To go too much sideways. Closing the gap while braking. on the throttle there we go come on let's get him made straight away again massive toe on the rival over the line can we make it stick yes there we go up another position and we are on P3 nervous the back end of this car ah oh, oh, come on the left side very nervous consolidate our podium this is the question as there are still two laps to go that's our main objective to get on the podium but maybe we can go even for more here today in Estoril. So we're going a little bit too wide there.
fires are cold. Get closer, can we get closer? Yes, we're coming up the line for the last lap. Can we go for the last attack here? Let's do the right line to this time through this corner. Oh. Going a little bit sideways at the exit. Breaking late, closing up another time. Let's get him. Come on. Let's go. Uh. Oh, we tried all we could. But uh, we couldn't go up another position at the end. Uh, fighting hard for P2. Woo, here in Estoril. But. Uh, at least we could get our podium with the third position. Ah oh, man, what a tough race. It's really, really like uh, you were in the car. By real with this combination the handling model the, the force feedback and uh, the truck IR it simulates the head movement that you do when driving this piece of a car and then the environment moving and the suspension and so on uh, the shaking and engine of your car and the noise of the rivals as well but now we are coming up the last corner of this cool down lap and uh, we are approaching to the pit lane Break down to 60 km per hour in order to avoid any kind of Watch your speed. penalties post race. And there we go. There are our mechanics ah, breaking here for the garage place. And you can see the final result. We are on. P3. The winner is Rune Morling, second place driver Guillermo Viera, and we are on P3, completing the podium. But now, guys, as this was the race, let's go over to the replay view and having a watch to the start of this battle. And there is the start. It came up from P1, but. Uh, uh, we had a little bit of a wheel spin and uh, through the inside uh, was the first rival that took his chances to go by on us. 
as we were winding in down the hill into the first two corners of the starting lap here in Estoril. Uh, and we were really chasing the leader, making pressure on him, battling for the first place, but then for some reason we uh, had to slow down massively by the race control in order to avoid uh, any potential penalties. Don't know what we had done uh, in detail. Maybe some uh, corner cutting stuff or something. Don't know really. But anyway guys, here we were still in the race in the place for the lead and uh, ooh, massive uh, back and stepping out there as we came uh, through this very narrow uphill chicane and then we come up to the last corner of lap number one and uh, chasing down the main straightaway into the slipstream of the race leader of Estoril with our green numbered 176 car and you can see the chassis is uh, already a little bit dirty there so we went down the next first two bands of the new lab and here we were really close to the leader there are Maybe this was our fault there, so we touched him from the inner side and uh, couldn't avoid to be a little too close to him there. And here we tried another move on him, but uh, we couldn't make it stick. Uh, really intense race bet see all the cars were really close together yes we came up again through this very <laughs> complicated uphill left right chicane it reminds me a little bit of uh, the desert Laguna Seca downhill section of the don't know the name but there is a left right chicane very famous one downhill wise and here the same thing uphill wise so crossing the line for lap number two and here we really try to move into the inside line and we make it stick but then we left the track we came back getting uh, again in contact with him and there we got the message from the race control to let the speed dropped down we had to restart all the way up from here again but at the end nice result nice finish with the position 3 so this is it guys for today's event I hope you have enjoyed it and if you end up liking the video then smash the like button it really helps me out support the work that I'm doing with my channel, the passion that I'm sharing with you guys and uh, if you want to see more stuff like this from me then consider subscribing to my channel as well. But for today guys this is it, so thank you so much for watching, stay well, stay tuned, stay true and we see us the next time soon again. And of course with Automobilista 2. So till then guys, thank you for watching again and bye bye from Rolonso. Ciao!